Hello everyone, I'm Sajjad Arif Gul and today I'm going to show you one of my recently developed project. Uh, I have named it Beer Pass and it's kind of a password manager that helps me keep track of my passwords in secure and encrypted format. So I have already installed it on my uh, laptop and first we'll see this in action and then we'll move on to its implementation detail. Uh, let's log in obviously if you don't have your account created you have to create your account first since I already have my account I'll simply use my credentials to log in uh, now I have logged in and this is my dashboard uh, first thing I want to mention here is that all of these passwords are only for demonstration purposes and not my actual password for these accounts so don't go try to hack me uh, okay, so all of uh, uh, the project is developed on Windows Form application and it's completely responsive and you can set it to any proportions as you like. I have not used any third party controls or libraries for this project. So, okay, on the right, on the left side, we have a menu panel uh, which contains options for different purposes and on the right we have a data grid view that contains all of our password de related details and inside password we have username email and password columns as well as copy update and delete options uh, let's go to our menu panel and inside menu panel we have search password you can search for any password as you like and it will you can also set the search properties here as well look for username email and uh, matching option equals or contains so I'm looking for a password name uh, that which name contains Facebook so as you can see we have two passwords uh, for Facebook that contain Facebook in their name okay uh, another option that we have here is the new passwords in the new password option you can create a password for your uh, any account so let's suppose if I create a password on my Microsoft website. I'll simply use sajad at ms.com and sajad ms.com and uh, another important thing to mention here is the password generation in this uh, password manager. I've uh, created this password generation mechanism where it generates uh, completely random passwords and you you also have control over this uh, password generation mechanism as well when you click on options it will display password generate options here you can see we have lower case allow require and different related options so I have set it to require special and underscore character as well as the maximum character length and minimum character length 14 and 13 as well so all of these password that you see gen generating here are generated at completely random format. So I'll simply add this password to my account as well. Another option that we have here is the master password. You can also change your master password. Master password is used for your login and the password encryption mechanism as well. If you forgot this master password, you will not be able to log in or recover your password. So I highly recommend to remember your pa master password. Uh, other options we have here is import passwords. You can use this to import passwords that you already have exported. So first I'll export passwords. Uh, let's suppose if I want to export passwords, uh, I'll simply name it my pass and uh, check out the database extension file, uh, extension of this file, brfastfiles.bpf. When I save this password exported to uh, my location that I've selected and here you can see all of the passwords are exported and all of these passwords are encrypted. So now we'll uh, import these passwords here. Open and the file contains 10 passwords. Are you sure you want to import these passwords? So when I click on OK, it will import all of these passwords. Since I already have these passwords in my account, I'll simply cancel this process. Okay, another option that we have here is the guidelines. These guidelines are designed to uh, guide you to use this password manager and how to keep your passwords in secure and encrypted format. Uh, we also have settings uh, options here. So if you want to hide any of these uh, columns from your grid view, you can also do so 
by unchecking these options here as well and also if I want to have my date format in a different format I can also do so by uh, selecting the format I want also I uh, have the password generate option here as well if you want to change any of these password let's suppose if I want minimum of maximum of 20 characters and minimum of 19 characters I can do so here as well save so now you see all of uh, the controls the controls for email and the passwords the columns for email and passwords are gone in the about section I have uh, I have wrote about why I created this password manager and the reasons behind uh, why I don't use other password managers also I have a link to the github uh, repository where this uh, project is hosted and also links to my websites and profiles and that's it uh, so let's go to its implementation detail I'll open it in Visual Studio as you can see I have created this in a modular fashion so all of the uh, modules are independent of each other so uh, the password manager dot app is a windows one application that accesses password manager dot services and the services in return calls to data and database uh, repository uh, database modules uh, we have entities here as well it contains all the entity related uh, code and the filer uh, filer is used for importing and exporting passwords and the Calypso. So the main encryption algorithm is contained in the Calypso module. So if you want to look at how I have, I, uh, how I am encrypting and uh, decrypting these passwords, you can do so by going to password manager dot Calypso. Uh, I was also thinking about doing uh, theme related work on this uh, Windows One application. So since I am not much free these days, uh, I've put it on hold and if I got some time on my hand in future, I'll work on these options here as well. Uh, I've hosted this on GitHub account on my GitHub account. So I'm, I will also be giving this link in description so you can uh, check out this uh, repository and see its, its code and implementation, implementation detail in detail. Also, if you want to install this, you can simply go to password manager dot setup and in the release folder, I have it set up here as well. The setup, uh, I will recommend you to install it in uh, D or E, whatever you have instead of C, because if the C panel, uh, the C drive uh, won't work very well with this password manager project. So if you have any question related to this project or anything else, you can also communicate on our C Sharpens Facebook group. And you can also email me directly on sajjadarifgul at gmail.com as well. I hope you like this project and also comment about this and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.